season 10 of Fortnite is finally here, and just what exactly happened? Between the mechs, time flux, and new missions, there's a lot to cover, so let's dive right in. Time is shifting and locations that were once lost are reappearing but with a twist. For example, Neo Tilted isn't exactly Neo anymore, thanks to a rift zone created by the explosion of Zero Point. Neo Tilted, reverted back to what it was many years ago, Tilted Town, is a Wild West settlement that prohibits building and harvesting, making it hard to apply the same strategy you'd usually use. Tilted Town also has unvaulted weapons that only spawn within that town. These include the double barrel shotgun, six shooter, hunting rifle, and infantry rifle, all varying from common to legendary variants. There may be other rift zone changes in the future, so be sure to keep an eye out for any new alterations. A new season means a brand new battle pass full of exclusive rewards. You can now gift battle passes to your friends, which in turn gives you a gift box to use when gifting items from the shop. That's a lot of gifts, I know. The battle pass costs 950 V-Bucks, and you'll receive the X-Lord and Catalyst outfits immediately after buying the battle pass. You'll also be able to unlock unique rewards like the dual pickaxes, new emotes, different outfit styles, and new pets. And at tier 100, you'll unlock the Ultima Knight outfit. The Battle Pass also brings along new missions as well as limited time ones that are replacing daily challenges. New limited time missions will be available every week and one objective unlocks per day. For example, the road trip missions will require players to travel to different parts of the map with or without vehicles and complete specific tasks. Completing everything in the road trip mission tab will reward you with the atmosphere back bling. In addition to missions, there will be new limited time modes and events that are dropping this season. The arena game mode is starting off with a solos and trios arena. Hype has been reset from the start of season 10 and there are three new division additions. Open League 4, Champion 2, and Champion 3. Matchmaking in arena is still based on players with similar hype. A new game mode coming soon to the season is called Arsenal. It's essentially a gun game mode where you work your way through all the weapons, starting from higher rarities and ending with the lower ones. Infinite ammo is on for this mode and players will drop materials when they are eliminated. The first player to get a kill with the final weapon wins. Speaking of weapons, there are two noteworthy additions in Season 10. There's a new automatic sniper rifle in town that uses medium ammo and has faster bullet velocity than any other sniper rifle. It shoots four rounds per second and can be found in chests, floors, vending machines, supply drops, and loot carriers. Now we can address the elephant, I mean, mech in the room, the Brute. It's a mech suit that can be operated by up to two people. If two players are occupying it, one controls movement while the other controls missiles and shotguns. Solo users can switch between moving and shooting. The Brute has the ability to dash, super jump, and stomp structures and enemies into the ground. Destroying structures grants players materials as well as an overshield for five seconds in the mech when 200 of any material type is consumed. Weaponry for the mech includes a shotgun and missile launcher, both with a magazine size of 10. The shotgun hits for 50 damage and has a 1.5 times headshot multiplier, while the missile launcher has the ability to shoot all 10 missiles at once. As awesome as mech gameplay can be, there has been an overwhelmingly negative feedback about Brute and how it's affected the balance of the game. Epic finally released a statement on the competitive Fortnite subreddit saying they are evaluating Brute gameplay and observing how it performs across all modes and skill levels. So keep an eye out for possible balancing changes in the future. How do you feel about all the new changes that dropped in Season 10? Do you think the Brute is incredibly OP? Let us know in the comments below and for more updates on Fortnite and everything else gaming, keep it here at IGN.